Jessica and Ashley Simpson have been in the public eye for over three decades. They both had successful music careers in the 2000s and beyond, with Jessica finding tremendous success with her own fashion line, while Ashley pursued acting. But where did these sisters get their talent and business sense? A look into their family tree reveals some fascinating stories and connections. Jessica Ann Simpson was born July 10, 1980 in Abilene, Texas, to Joe Simpson and Tina Drew, followed by Ashley Nicole Simpson, born on October 3, 1984, in Waco, Texas. Joe and Tina were married in 1978, and Joe served as a minister, like his father. Joe Simpson is the son of Curtis T. Simpson, who was born May 15, 1920, in Young, Texas. He married Joyce Adams on September 26, 1944, on Joyce's 23rd birthday. Following his service in World War II, Curtis became an evangelical minister, while Joyce studied nursing before following her husband into ministry. In the 1930 census, taken on April 23, 1930, we see a young Joyce and her family, including her father Grady and mother Sally Maud, living in Amarillo, Texas. However, Sally Maud died just days after her 30th birthday on April 14th from pneumonia, as seen here on her death certificate. I was quite confused by this contradicting information, but I assume that either the date on the census is wrong and it was taken before Sally's death, or whoever gave the information didn't report her death. Either way, a young Joyce and her siblings, including two-month-old Betty Jo, were left without a mother, a woman who looks remarkably like her great-granddaughter Ashley. Grady remarried a few years later, and Joyce and Curtis lived together until his death in 1985, followed by Joyce in 2001 from cancer. I wondered what may have happened to young Betty Jo upon losing her mother as an infant, which can sometimes lead to infant mortality. I found that she grew up and got married at the age of 17 and had children, including a son Robert, who was murdered in Houston in 1977, though I was not able to find any details about the crime. For Betty Jo, tragedy was a way of life. Jessica and Ashley's two-time great-grandfather, Silas Graves Sinkfield Adams, was the father of Grady Adams and was born September 16, 1853 in South Carolina. He lived in this home in Georgia with his father Richard and mother Mary as of the 1870 U.S. Census. Silas married Frances Elizabeth Valentine around 1878. Frances was the daughter of John William Valentine, who died May 1, 1864, while serving in the Confederate Army, leaving his young wife Narcissa, whom he married at the tender age of 15, and four-year-old daughter Frances. Narcissa remarried her until she was widowed again and applied for John's Confederate pension as a way of supporting herself until her death in 1920. Curtis Simpson was the son of Thaddeus Pickett Simpson, who was born November 3, 1876, in Georgia. Thaddeus was a farmer who married Bertha Curtis, who was known as Bertie. Interestingly, Jessica's youngest daughter is named Bertie, likely in honor of her two times great grandmother. Thaddeus and Bertie were married December 31, 1911, and had 11 children. Thaddeus died March 9, 1956, of a heart attack. Bertie died January 16, 1978, at the age of 85, due to a stroke, with diabetes being a contributing factor. Thaddeus and Bertie's youngest daughter, Lily May, was born in 1928. In the 1970s, she started a ceramics company in her garage, which grew to 150 employees. She also had a line of greeting cards where she wrote heartfelt poems, which Hallmark offered to buy, but she turned it down. Clearly a female entrepreneurial spirit and the ability to write poignant messages is part of the Simpson legacy. The Simpson family can be further traced back to Belfast, Ireland. William Simpson was born in Belfast in 1729. He married Mary Simpson, part of another Simpson family. They emigrated with their five children to Lauren, South Carolina around 1770. Irish immigration in the 18th century was largely the result of high cost of farmland in Ireland and the establishment of English laws forcing citizens to follow the Anglican Church. Here we see William Simpson and his son Robert each being granted 100 acres of land in South Carolina on December 1, 1772. During the Revolutionary War, the family moved to a fort near Charleston, where wife Mary became ill and died but the Simpsons' deep ties to the American South continued for over 200 years. 
On their maternal side, Jessica and Ashley's mother, Tina Drew, was the daughter of Edward A.C. Drew Jr., who was born September 11, 1930 in Houston, Texas. He was a well-respected football coach and educator who was a teacher of biology and chemistry and later a principal. Jessica's son Ace appears to be named in honor of Edward A.C. Jr. and his father, Edward A.C. Sr., who was a successful businessman who was awarded Boss of the Year by the American Business Women's Association in 1967. Even at a time when women in the workplace were far fewer, Edward A.C. Sr. was respectful and kind, as noted by this award. Like the Simpson family, the Drew family has strong Southern roots. Asia Emanuel Drew was born in 1836 in Georgia. He married Mary Devon on September 23, 1866 in Columbia County, Arkansas, shortly after serving in the Civil War. Here we see Asia and Mary in the 1880 U.S. Census with their five children, with Asia working as a farmer. Their son, Stonewall, became Jessica and Ashley's two times great-grandfather. But the history of the Drew family prior to 1836 is unknown. Winding our way through Jessica and Ashley's family tree, we find a striking resemblance between Ashley and her great-grandmother, Sally Maud, who died far too young. And we also find Jessica's entrepreneurial spirit and poetic abilities in her great aunt Lily May. Clearly the traits that made Jessica and Ashley who they are have been passed down through the ages. The truth is, we are all parts of a puzzle that is put together in new ways with each generation.